Hello everybody, this is Bronislava, your host for this project, which is going to be grouped into a playlist. So look for the playlist if you want to knit along. And I also do have a, a blog where you can go and find a lots of uh, free patterns. So you are most welcome to visit it. In this playlist, you will see a video how to knit this particular cable. In the second video, I will be talking about how to start this project, how to do the head opening and how to finish it. In a third video, you are going to uh, learn how to attach sleeve. And I will just briefly talk about how to finish it as well. In the uh, next video, fourth video, you are going to be uh, learning how to crochet a half ball. It looks like a uh, ball, but it's actually a half ball. So I will show you how to do that. In the video number five, I will show you how to color these balls. And I will also show you ideas how you can attach them to your sweater. But today we will be working on the cable pattern. Since this is DK and I would like to make it from a thicker yarn actually, um, so that's why I'm doubling it, okay? And this is going to be a repeat, uh, uh, two repeats, and we need eight stitches for each repeat plus four at the end. So I will be actually casting two repeats and plus four. So that will be eight times two is 16 plus four is 20 stitches. And let's say you want to go and have um, 11 repeats, then you would go and have uh, 11 times eight is 88 plus four, you would have to start on 92 uh, stitches. But I think I will be starting on like 15 repeats later on for my sweater. Okay, so here we have uh, 20 stitches. And now we will knit four stitches and purl four stitches. All the way to the end and we will finish with actually four knit stitches, okay? So this is two, three, four knit stitches, purl four stitches. Knit four stitches, purl four stitches. knit four stitches okay now we will turn around and we will have to purl four stitches knit four stitches purl four stitches knit four stitches purl uh, uh, four stitches okay and let me go and uh, show it to you in English style now. All right, so in English style, you just wrap the yarn around, right? So I purled four stitches and now we will knit four stitches. Now we will purl four stitches. I'm doing pretty good today, ladies and gentlemen, with this English style. I usually don't do very well. It must be the yarn. Oops, we have to bring it back. Otherwise we would go and make what? Yarn over, right? 
So now we're knitting four stitches. And since we are on the wrong side, we will purl last four stitches. Okay, so that's how you go and do it in English style, right? And now I will repeat these two rows two more times. So I will really make four extra rows. So basically what I do is I purl the purl stitches. Okay, here we have the purl stitches on this side and I knit the knit stitches, okay? And I have knit stitches right in here. Okay, and now we are going to go and start our cable and you will need your cable needle. And I usually use a um, short double pointed needle for my cables. All the cables are gonna be done with uh, knit stitches. So we're gonna go and stop uh doing uh pearl stitches okay on the right side so we will always knit all the stitches on the right side and we will always pearl stitches on the wrong side okay so now the cable we need to go and bring these two together and these two we need to go and pull away from each other and same over here, okay? These two stitches we need to pull together. And the, these two stitches here and two stitches here we need to pull away, okay? So this is how we will do it. So this is going to be cable in front, okay? So let's go and first knit two stitches because we don't really uh, work with those edge, two edge stitches. Okay, these stitches, they, they are gonna be just, we won't work with those. And we are not gonna work with these two stitches either. So now we are going to go and do the cable in front and it's going to be cable for in front okay because we will be working with four stitches so these two stitches need to go here and these two stitches need to go there all right so we are going to go and knit we have cable in the front and we will knit two stitches in the back behind the cable now we need to knit that cable I cannot see there. Okay, here. I and you probably cannot see there either, right? So so this is one stitch and second stitch, okay? All right. And now we need to do actually cable in the back. So we will take these two stitches, okay? And we will put it on our cable needle. That's why it's called cable back and it stays back. And we're gonna move it this way. And these two we will move together with these two that we moved this way. All right, so we will go and knit these two. And now we will knit the uh, stitches from the cable in the back from the cable needle. That's why it's called cable back. Okay, and we will repeat these this again these two are gonna be cable in front and this is gonna be knitted in the back and this is going to be later on knitted in the back and this in the front okay so we are going to go and do again cable four in the front because we're bringing these two over here so this needs to be knitted in the back, one and two, okay. Now we can go and knit these two from the cable needle. So cable four front, C4F. Now 
Now we need to do cable four in the back, C4B. So we're gonna go and take these in the back, leave them in the back, okay? That's why they're called in the back. Now we will knit these two stitches in front. They're just regular stitches, they're not on a cable needle, okay? Now we will go and knit, or you can go and actually move these if you want to back onto the knitting needle or knit it from the cable needle, all right? And knit them, and they were cable that we were, they were, these two stitches were on a cable needle, that's why it's cable, and they are knitted in the back. C for B in the back, B is for the back. Now we will knit, we will actually purl all the stitches, okay? So let's go and purl all the stitches. Okay, and now we will knit one row and purl back. We will not do any cable. Right. And so now what we need to do is bring these stitches, two of these, two of these, this one and this one we need to bring them back where they were before okay so since we started over here with cable for front and we did right after that we did cable for back we're going to reverse it okay so we will first do cable for back c for b and then cable for front c for f all right so let's go and see how it's going to look like um so first again because we never really go and knit uh do anything to the uh, last two stitches so we will knit them okay and now, and let me actually show it to you in English style, okay? And now we need to do the cable for back. So we're going to go with our need, uh, uh, cable needle in the back. We're not going to knit it just yet. It has to stay in the back. We're going to knit these two stitches. So that's one and two. And now we will knit two stitches from the cable needle. Again, you could go and put it back on this needle if you want to, but since I'm using a double pointed needle, it's for me easy to work with it. So I will just knit my stitches from the cable needle. So we did C for B, cable, four stitches, because we work with four stitches, two and two, right? And we did it in the back, and now we have to do it in the front. So we will go and take our two stitches, leave them here on the front, so that's, so that's basically, I cannot, <laughs> I cannot do this. Okay, so now we need to knit first these two stitches from our regular needle and then we will go and knit our stitches from the cable needle. Okay. 
and we will repeat this in this row we have to do first in the back and then in the front so again needle is going to go in the back we are going to knit <laughs> i get tangled with this english style we'll knit two from our needle <laughs> uh, and now from the cable okay <laughs> and i'm going to i'm giving up <laughs> you can go and uh you you get the picture right and so and now we need to do the front one right so we're going to go and bring these two stitches to the front knit the stitches first from our needle working needle and then we will finish knitting our cable needle and you see that it's in the front that cable is in the front and we will finish our last two stitches okay and you can see actually that we are forming little holes in here now after i do my purl stitches in here knit stitches and purl stitches again and then i will repeat this row with yarn in the front and then back front and the back on the cable right so we're gonna start seeing a, a little holes right in here so it's gonna be holes here and then holes here then hole here okay so let me go and do my rows so you can go and see how it really looks like okay so i will purl my row this one then i will knit my row then i will purl uh purl again okay so we will work on three rows now all right now i will repeat my first cable row and then after that three those three rows that i just did now okay and then i will do my second cable row so these two rows will repeat okay and it, so here you have it so i did another uh two extra rows right or three after the cable and i would right now start working on my c4b in the back and C4F in the front, C4B in the back, C4F, okay? And I will, I would end up with them going this way and that way, okay? These cables back and there. So I would again create this little hole right here, all right? So now imagine all these little cocoons or holes all over your sweater which actually is a uh there is a designer sweater that is using those and it looks absolutely fabulous okay and i will be working on that particular project all right so as you see i decided to add a little bit more to my knit to my test knit all right and uh what i did over here is i added extra two rows instead of three rows between the cable rows i knitted five rows so it was cable row and then purl row knit row purl row knit row and purl row okay and then the cable row again I just wanted to go and show you how it looks so you can go and see that these little holes they, 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 they're smaller in here and these are a little bigger right also i measured and these holes are three quarters of an inch and this is an inch also i wanted to mention that the uh the width of two repeats 
are three inches okay so this is three inches uh so uh, you know you can go and uh, basically think about uh, how many repeats you would need for a sweater right so for example my sweater is going to be 20 inches wide and uh, there are basically in those 20 inches approximately i counted that i would have to do 14 repeats so i have two repeats in here but i would need 14 repeats okay and this is all i wanted to go and share with you for today all right uh don't forget i have links below the video always click below the video there are links that might be um, of interest to you also if you like the video don't forget to like it don't forget to comment on my video share uh, with your family and friends subscribe to my channel follow me on social media and you will see me another day